Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hydro Near. Uh, and if yes, things are getting a little laggy around here, and it's not because of the dirt. It's because I've had this thing running for probably about five or six hours now, and I I'm not joking about that. Like I am actually scared to grab that pot, and I just remembered I was gonna do a save and reload before I started recording, just in case I crash. Oh, it's so quiet. Actually, I forgot. What am I doing? I gotta remember to avoid the system first. Shut the harvesters off. Let the conveyors drain. And uh, we'll get to it. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I have been quite busy at this. I've had this going for quite a while. As you can tell, I've had the iron pot in the wrong spot. Uh, yeah, I went and bought the stick magnet on the stick. See what happens. And uh, believe it or not, there is a lot of gold in there. You can tell by the mess of gems that have piled up behind the pot. There's just so much around here. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we're going to get ready to do a clean up or a clean out because I want to go and uh, take take on another claim where we get some more room to work with. Uh, I have a lot of money, so I can, well, got about eight grand left. I did pick up a few things. I was actually going to go over here and pick something up. I actually got to grab my money for this. Uh, one of the th issues I have had with this, like I've got an idea of what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically make a... Uh, We'll call it an assembly line. And this is what my idea is going to be. I realize i got to raise this up one more unless I put this into the ground like so. But I'd rather not do that. So I'm going to have to move this up one, which means I'll need three uh, vertical conveyors. But more or less, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to have the ram, the ram drill output it onto a conveyor. And this is what I wanted to do there, is to have it output right to the middle of the belt so it stays in the center. And that, that way I'll drop down into the funnel and into the harvester and no problem. And then I'll output it onto the conveyor. Uh, one of the issues I was having with this, well, before I go over there, uh, but that's the setup. And as you can see, it's a very low profile. And I was actually going to have, you know, probably eight, 10, 12 of these all in a row. But instead of trying to feed them all into the same harvester like I've seen Dre do and nothing but pileups, you have them all going to their own harvester, outputting all the gold and iron, gold, iron, gems, shards onto a main belt that goes to the sorters. And as long as you have things in the right spot, you don't have this mess to deal with. Uh, so what I want to do, let's actually go run over to the store here quickly. I just want to check something because one of the issues I had over here, as you can probably see it already, is I've got stuff sh lining on this side here. So I wanted to see if the windows would actually go over top the conveyor, but just on this side, or if it's going to be the outside only like the blocks. Uh, and I'll see if the conveyors still work. I'm sure some of you already know the answer to that, but by the time you give it to me, I've already figured it out. Uh, got a lot of recording, right? Anyway, uh, let me do this off camera. Okay, I'm back. I ended up going all over the entire map just to, to find that, realize that the store over there did actually have the windows, I just wasn't looking in the right spot. They were leaning up against the table and I wasn't paying attention, and uh, needless to say, I f totally forgot about that little town over there that which actually buys ingots and gems. So maybe next time I, when I feel energetic, I'll go through all those gems, grind them all up and bring them over there when the stock's high. Uh, but yeah, so what I want to do is just basically, I want to see... Uh, one, I want to see how much this covers. Okay, so. Yeah, but. Yeah, so it doesn't go all the way down just because of the conveyor, so. Using the boxes is fine. Sure. Okay, uh, so needless to say, that is going to be something I'll probably do. I was trying to decide if I want to go with these or the walls. Uh, what I'm worried about is things are actually getting caught in that little lip there. Uh, I'll show you what I mean here. Right on there. There or there. And I was just want stuff to drop, to drop off, but now I realize there's going to be a gap underneath it, so we'll just go with the blocks anyways. Uh, so now, we got some light. Let me get out of the hole, like I always have to do every single episode, because I never build a proper bridge over that. And uh, let's feel that lag. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh. Okay. That is something. Told you I was doing this a while. Now it's a matter of getting it over to the, the forge. 
Wow. Uh, I think once I get my next system set up, I want to make sure I have the forge really close. In fact, if I was smart, I would have moved the forge over here. But I'm not. Oh, this is going to be uh, bad. So uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, that's better. Okay, and now uh, if you don't know why lag is generated like that, uh, inside this pot, I'm going to have to guess around 50,000 separate entities. This is an entity. Speaking of which, there's entities scattered all over this map. There's actually a small emerald all the way up in the river over there. There's a power shard all the way over there, over by uh, just past the snow town there. Uh, but basically this thing has a location in the world that has a coordinate. And the coordinate isn't just like one, three, seven. It's usually in decimal places. So when this one thing moves around the world, that's not because of that, that's just probably me. Uh, it's got to update its position constantly. Actually, that's probably all the gold melting. That's probably what it is. Uh, so that's, you know, it's not too bad for one object. But you have something like 10,000 objects that are all moving together. You know, it, it puts a lot of load on the system. And judging by the fact that we got no lag, we must have a really big bulk of our gold. Now, where is that scale? Oh, let's see what we got here. I'm not going to look. Tell me what it is. Is it good? I'm waiting. Holy jeez. 20,000. That's worth the lag. I might have to actually find a big gem for that. Alright, uh... Let me actually take a nap, bring up the day, and then we'll go deal with the iron situation. Okay, I'm back. I didn't find anything too big, but I did find this sapphire, so we'll go ahead and use that. Because that's actually what I wanted, so we got the sapphire, we got that, so that's going to be a nice big ring. Now we got to deal with the iron. So, let's uh, grab this thing, and get ready for some more lag. So, I'm going to get that out of the way. Oh! That's a lot of iron. Iron, why do you call me? Cause me so lag, so much lag. Okay, uh... Okay, and I got the this, this small one because I didn't want to grab it too much because I know there is going to be a lot of lag with this. I gotta move slowly too. Like a pro. Oh, let's see if we can get it all. Let's see how much lag we can generate. Now this is where it gets interesting when you get multiple entities because they're not all moving together. As you can see, they're sort of moving around in that cluster and that's what generates even more lag. They're all moving independently instead of all moving together inside a pot. Nice shot. All right, well, that's gonna be a nice dagger. A little laggy. Uh, I'm gonna guess 5,000 on this one. So. Let me get this taken care of, and I'll be back. Okay, the iron should be done. I was just cleaning up the gems there and uh, the shards. That not, not, uh, little mag magnet on a stick, that little magical tool. I love it. Made it so much easier. So we'll start with the dagger here first. Uh, go ahead and change that to a dagger. Uh, I bought this saw, too. Uh, where did they go? Uh-oh. Did I lose them? Uh, I might have lost them. I, uh... Actually, no, I didn't lose them. I put them somewhere safe. So I can't find them. I ended up making a, a small dagger and a small ring, and now I can't find them. I have just, like, one nugget of each. I wanted to see the smallest and the biggest. I could have sworn I put them somewhere safe. I wonder if they glitched to the ground and I lost them forever. Oh. That was like... Anyway. Go ahead and we'll do that. Do it. That's why I'm not a blacksmith. That's a big dagger. Oh, yeah, man, that's pretty, pretty good. So now let's see what we can get for this ring. Uh, while that's doing, doing that, we might as well head back up here. So we only take one of this thing at, on its own, anyways, and see what we can get. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Definitely want to go do some exploring. I say that all the time, but never get around to it. 
Uh, right now, I'm here to generate lag. Okay, what do you want? What are you going to give me for it? Wow. 7,000 for a dagger. That's about as much money. That's almost as much money as I have right now. And the price is up. Eight grand. Hmm. I may decide to camp on this one. You know what? Forget it. It's just a dagger. It's that ring that's going to be worth the money. And the rings are down. But when I was over at the other place, I noticed the rings were actually up quite high. So maybe we'll go run over there with the ring. And fortunately, even though gold is a soft metal, we don't actually have to worry about it melting in the forge while we're wandering off selling our goods. Oh, uh, no, I've got my money over at the other town there. Okay, so I'm going to drop that there. And we'll stop picking that up. I really should have started nailing stuff down. Okay, we'll put that there. Sapphire on top, and bang. Oh, I guess. Hope I set it to an actual ring. Figured that would be bigger. Let's see what the scale says. 27,000. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Where's my bucket? Where's my bucket? Bucket's empty. Nah. I gotta stop doing that. So impatient. Can't let... I can't wait for the physics to do its thing. Uh, where did I leave my money? Right here. Alright, uh... I'll meet you over there. Well, that sucks. They're down here as well. Alright, well, then let's go buy a bed. I'm also keep one out here anyways. And that power shard, you'll probably be able to see it. I think it was just up here. I was driving along. I saw this glow and I was like, what? See? All the way over here. I'm gonna have to go around with a magnet, find stuff, and why am I, why am I not taking the shortcut? It's getting dark anyways. I should have slept before I left. I uh, hope there's no snakes. There you go, another power shard. I don't think these things, things just spawn naturally. You could tell I was here. Oh, yes. Alright, uh, nah. We're not good enough for a com comfy bed. There's our bed that we want. I'll leave our ring outside. There's the rest of my money. So that's going to be, what, 15,000? 16,000. Can I please not uh, take a bed? Alright, and we'll just. We will not do that. We'll just drop it here and sleep. Okay, let's uh, take a ring. We'll go see if we can find a shortcut up here. Probably not. Well, maybe. Aha. Aha. I could have gone on the river too, but it, I'd have to go all the way around the Brit bridge to get, to get up to that little ramp on the other side there and I'm too lazy here to like climb a mountain okay what do you got 50 cents or down 50 okay uh I'll grab the bed I'll be back I actually found a shortcut I should be able to climb up this no problem wow easier going the other way yeah, just like that. No problem. So let's nap away and uh, see if we can get that price to go up. Because I shouldn't move the mouse. Took me out of the bed. That happens when you toss and turn all night, you don't sleep. Oh, there we go. 28,000. Uh, thank you. So 28, we have over 45,000. They're multiplying. It's a, it's a power shard infestation. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna I'm gonna pull all my money together, which where did I leave my money? Over here. <gasps> Sploosh. I grab my money together. 
pick, pick up the truck as you saw I did by another one. Uh, I don't know if you noticed that as I was down here. I wanted to pick up some wrenches to keep the, the machines running to earn that. 36,000 today. That was pretty good. And that's just off of three ram drills. You know, I'm probably going to try to go for 16 or so. Uh, where did I leave my money? Over here. Over at the furniture store. Nice. Now it'd be nice if the stacks would start growing. Like when you get hit 50,000, it should be like this tall. 45. Nice. I like that. So basically what my setup is going to be is more or less what it's in was. So I would need three of these. Uh, yeah. Three verticals. One flat, one hopper, one harvester, uh, one ram drill, and a whole bunch of pipe. So I gotta go lag the hell out of my truck and uh, go pick up the claim. Let's actually go check and see what there was. Uh, there was the one for 1200 Is That's the one that goes down deep, so it's kind of tricky to get in and out. So let's go check these ones out quickly here. Uh, let's go check this one first. This was... I think this was the expensive one, wasn't it? Or the cheap one. I have no idea. Oh, My finger itches to sprint, but it just doesn't want to. This is the cheap one. Yeah, this one's not even worth it here. You're not telling me how much it's going to be? Or do I actually have the, have the money in there? Click, not E. Six grand for this one. It's a lot of space and I do have it. Water's a little ways, but the other one... I think we'll go check that one out. Uh, I will meet you there. Okay, so after some surveillance and much thought... I've decided I'm going to go for the expense one, this one here. Water source is over there. I think this is the one with the underground lake too, so we may tap into that if I need to. That road's over here. Uh, reason being is I do want to have a flat area to work with, and this does, does the job. Um, as far as money goes, it's going to leave me with 38, uh, 38,000, so that's more than enough. Uh, I don't have to get full up and running right away. I uh, can get at least half or something. Still 37,000. That is good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some shopping. I'm going to go back, pick up the truck, which is... Let me see which way do I go here. Maybe this way. Go back and pick up the truck. And then I'm going to go pick up a whole bunch of stuff. And then we're going to get a nice big setup going. So, I shall see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. And you can tell by the leg, I um, have got quite the load on me. I don't have everything. I do have a majority of the conveyors. I do have the harvesters, the ram drills, uh, funnels, and a few other things I still got. This is probably about half of it, but uh, it's getting laggy. I haven't even gotten the pipes yet, so I want to get everything down and locked in place before things start becoming a problem, and I really hope my truck doesn't freak out here. Uh, yes, I have seen enough videos to know that this thing is wants to be a spaceship. Or an intercom uh, ICBM, anyways. Okay, I think we're gonna stop there. Let's get out before this gets, gets terrible. So, uh, yeah, again, I am great at packing a truck. So, what I wanna do is uh, let's see if we can grab one of these ram drills first. There we go. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set up down here. Uh, trying to think how I wanna do this. You know what? Let's actually. It's actually a good spot. Me, uh, uh, the, well, it doesn't really matter. Let's go over here because it's that way I don't have to go up and over too much with the pipe. Uh, I think. Let's see much room I actually have here. Uh, you know what? Let's turn this one around. And we'll start about here with this one. Okay, so that's going to come out. Uh, let me back up the truck here. Uh, bear with the leg just a moment. I want to show you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to repeat it eight more times, or seven more times. 
Uh, I, I do want to kind of go over the top on this. You know, I got nothing wrong with small little nuggets because uh, small little nuggets are one thing where you multiply them many, many, many times and they add up. And that's for sure. So let's see if I can. Okay, short conveyor. Okay, so this one is going to go. Uh, oh, I didn't even think about that. Hmm. I might have to rethink this then. Because I have to be able to get water pressure into here. Now, I don't know if the conveyor belt is going this way, if I have water pressure going in this side, it wouldn't matter anyways, because it's got to go up. So regardless, this actually has to go up one somehow. We might have to cheat this with dirt. Let me think about this. Okay, well, the decision was made that uh, I dig down here a little bit. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to go off the side like this. I want to make sure I got dirt underneath there. Now, I'm hoping that when the dirt actually falls out, that it doesn't just stay on the edge of the conveyor like what it's doing, that it was actually tr end up more in the middle. And that way, it'll actually drop into the hopper pro or the funnel properly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to space some two, uh, two block gap. So I'm going to get eight of these set up and... Uh, yeah, as far as the conveyor goes, it's going to go here. And then I think once it once it gets past the harvesters to the sorting line, then it's going to go up because it's going to have to drop down anyways. So I do have to buy another eight of these and a whole bunch more of those and a whole bunch of pipe. So I'm going to get this set up and I'll be back in a while. Okay, I am back and I'm actually picking up the last of what I need. I got... I actually went ahead and got everything set up. Uh, it took me a while. <laughs> it took me about six hours to get everything all set up. Uh, let's see, 440, uh, 660, and I'm hoping I have enough. I might need one more of these, so I'm gonna grab that just in case. Too much. Uh, yeah, 195 credits, uh, hydro coins left. Uh, yeah, it's been, like I said, it has been a bit of a project, but it has, it's actually looking pretty good, not like a, I don't see any issues, I might have to work out the pressure system a little bit, that's why I grabbed another pressure tank just in case I need it, but I think we are ready to go, and that's also set up in such a way too that I can easily expand it, so this could be just like a quarter or maybe even a tenth of what we could actually do, uh, sadly we will, be, we will be fighting lag the entire way, but here it is. This is what I got. Uh, the, the nugget highway, I'm going to call it. Oh, let's get out of here. Uh, I do have everything nailed down, so you don't have to worry about anything except for the cof coffers. I'm hoping I have these in the right place. I did go and get tools, tool rack. Uh, something I didn't know about the tool rack. You can actually pick up the tool rack with all the tools in it. So that's a good way to move things around. Uh, another forge uh, melted down all the crystals that we had over the other claim there. Cut them in the saw. I thought I cut the bars in half and not slice them down the, slice them down the side, but you say I do have three crystals here. Uh, so this is the setup here. I have eight of them all eight of them all set up. I got eight uh, ram drills going up into eight harvesters all going to the main line. Uh, four conveyors each. Now, I'm hoping that this is going to be enough to actually like when it comes out, it's actually going to land more or less in the middle if it goes too far. Uh... I'll have to go pick up some more boxes in if I have enough money. Um, but I can actually place the the wooden boxes, the the floor panels there. I could probably even steal those. You can actually place them over the pipe. So I, if I need a a backboard, for instance, I will have it. Uh, so the only thing that's left to do is uh, get the crystals loaded up. Uh, so this is the main so main sorting area. This is going to be the same as before. We're going to have this set to gold, this set to iron. And this is the shards, and we'll let the gems come out the back. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a lag there. That's me. That's something up with windows, but this is where everything is going to end up. I don't have to worry about any clog ups with the dirt, hopefully, with the dirt in the funnels. Uh, I got a pressure tank here, this conveyor line. Uh, yeah, just this conveyor line alone is coming off the har harvesters. Well, actually, the other ones are too. Uh, this is teed off here. You got another pusher chamber here for this line. 
Uh, I think on this one I had a pressure chamber as well. No, I didn't. That's actually why I bought that fourth one. I do have one here, though. So there's nothing... Coming from the end, I got one water pipe. Coming over to here, it splits into two, even though you see two pipes. I realized that I was placing them all. I could just have the line coming all the way out here. And then uh, split it up here. So I got it split, and then from there I have uh, two valves, two filters. And then I got a pressure tank here, which feeds the harvesters and these conveyors. and Or the ram drills. And then this line here feeds and supplies the harvesters and the conveyor lines. And that way, when the, I'm done processing the dirt, I can actually shut the ram drills off and the system will continue cleaning itself out until I'm done. Actually, no, these ones won't. Actually, whatever. The nuggets will go through. That's all that matters. I just hope I even have a, don't have a pressure issue because that is a bit of a ways. I do realize there's a... Only so far you can walk that way too, so that was interesting. Uh, but if I need to, I can always get another pressure tank there. Uh, but I think I should be okay, because I don't think the back pressure really matters too much. It's just uh, how much head pressure you have co coming out. So anyways, time to get this thing up and rolling. So all I gotta do is get some crystals in, which... Um, hang on, I lost my mind here. I had them over here, that's right. That's where I was going to put them in. I didn't put any valves over there, because why bother going all the way over there if we gotta walk all, all the way over there to shut it off again. Ugh. Yeah, the one thing I didn't actually nail down. Yeah, you can tell I haven't played for a day, right? Yeah, put that in there. There we go. I know what I'm doing. Let me get the rest, I'll take it, and then we'll get it going. Okay, crystals are, crystals are in, so uh, let's turn on this line first. So far, so good, no crashing. Let's turn that line on. And all I have to remember is uh, that valve there will shut the... The harvester's off, the ram drill's off. Just want to make sure all the conveyors are running. Pressure might be an issue. So it looks like I might have to get a couple more pressure tanks. They're all moving though. That's good. I might actually have to maybe get another pressure tank down there. Don't have any crystals, but let's, anyways, let's uh, get the ram drills going and see what happens. Okay. I know what I need to do. I need a backboard. Let's actually see where that went. Come on, turn back on. Okay. Let me try something here. Okay, that seems pretty good. It's going to be a little slow. I definitely think the pressure is going to be an issue, so I might have to get another pressure tank and buy some more shards. That's exactly where I want it. Alright, well, let me uh, work this out and I'll be back. Okay, I think I've got it all figured out. So, uh, what my issue was is... Uh, uh, I, I, I'm aware that the pressure tanks only add so much pressure to the system and the pressure in this case is the number of pipes or conveyor sections of fills. So I was trying to feed this whole line off of one, one pressure tank, it wasn't enough. I split it up over to two and it seems to be running pretty good. I haven't had the harvesters running yet. Uh, this line is running okay. I did have to get another pressure tank here to just to get the conveyors to go a little bit better. I did have to go back to the site though to get a get it running a little bit and steal the pressure tanks because I was I needed more shards. Uh, needless to say, we're running on quarter bars here, so I don't know how long it's going to last, but I know that this system needs good pressure because I was having sorting issues at the other end because I didn't have enough pressure for it. So anyway, same thing, gold, iron, and shards at the end there. Uh, everything should be good to go. I have everything plugged up so we don't have to listen to the water. We just have to listen to the, the harvesters and the drills. Uh, okay, so uh, let's, let's fire it up. Also, I figured out how to actually nail, hammer this thing down, the, the tool rack. You actually have to fill all the slots. In this case, I put the blacksmith hammer in there, and then I took the builder's hammer when the thing was full, and you can actually tap it down. So now I don't have to worry about picking the whole thing up anymore. Yeah, my little moment. I feel special. And I have enough wrenches, so this thing should run pretty good. So let's get a uh, conveyor line going first. God, those things are noisy. Uh, I actually might have to clear that. I don't know if you can hear me over that. I can't even hear myself over that. Yeah, that's uh, those things are loud. Uh, just talk to the devil about getting to put sound mufflers into the game. Okay, where was that chunk of dirt? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, that one will be okay. Where was that other big clump? It was over here, wasn't it? There's one. 
you know, I knew I was gonna have to do is even like fine tune it with the shovel. Uh, one of these did, and it's just to make sure that you know what, I'm gonna do that with the shovel. Uh, let me do this off camera. Okay, uh, this should be the. It. I don't want to take too much. I want to make sure it still has dirt. Whatever. We'll just leave that be. It'll be our little secret. I'm sure you'll tell everybody. And I hope you do, because we need more viewers on this channel. Tell them to subscribe and uh, hit that like button and share. And uh, most importantly, enjoy. Anyway, uh, let's see if I can break this thing out. Okay, so we'll get this up and running. I'll show you about the uh, uh, sorting conveyor. Like all the this back end here is all on one, on one line. So what I chose to do is I chose to get conveyors to output to the funnels because I noticed that the output on this doesn't seem to be that great. But at least if it gets on a conveyor, it'll actually move its way towards the pot. Uh, okay, pressure is good. And pressure on this line is okay, but we don't have to worry about stuff joining up and causing big clumps. Uh, I do have a pressure chamber right at the end there, and that's still not enough. I might have to move it. I can't even move it. I could probably put it like right at the end there, but I don't think it's going to do much. And that is noisy. Oh, it's going to get even louder. All right, uh, let's stop wasting these shards and get everything running. So as you can see, all eight conveyors are running good. All right, it's hammer time. Turn that one on. Let's actually get up on the pipe and walk along. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. I haven't crashed the game yet, so that's always a good sign. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to run over here. Try to get somewhere quiet. Quieter, anyways. Just keep an eye on things, make sure the dirt's all coming out. The nuggets are coming out. And it's working. Definitely could use some more pressure. I was trying to think about what I could do. I might have to, because I got split into two, so I've got four on each side. I might actually have to uh, either split it up into four, so branch it and then branch each branch again, or, or I might have to put the conveyors on their own line. But they're coming up. They are going through. And I do realize I'm going to have to move these a little bit because it's not shooting them out like it used to. It's coming out in a conveyor speed, which is fine. It just means it's going to be a lot cleaner. Move that one like a little bit. Ah, it's a good sound, isn't it? That one almost didn't go through. But so far, so good. I don't know how long these power shards are going to last, but I hope they do. So now let's go around to the end and... So you can watch all the nuggets come popping out. Hopefully, I don't have a problem with the dirt backing up. I'm still a little worried about stuff getting caught at the end there, but I think we should be okay. As long as the pressure holds up. Gotta love that bang shot, huh? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this go for a little while. Try not to deafen you or myself. I'm gonna do a little bit of AFK. I'm gonna let this go for an hour, and then we'll do a cleanup and see what we got. You know, I'm actually looking at this. These are actually pretty big nuggets. Ooh, this could be good. That was actually better than what we were getting with the other claim. I think it's because it's a high value claim. Look at that. We got one shard already. Yay. And two gems. Anyway, I shall return. Alright, so far it's not doing too bad. Gotta love seeing that long line of nuggets all the way. I did have one boulder build up here, just like that one there. Oh. No. Oh, where's that gonna go? That's gonna go in the gems, I don't care. That's so far so good. Uh, it's been a constant stream of gold coming out. Uh, definitely this thing needs a little bit more pressure. Uh, uh, maybe one of you happen to know uh, if uh, these pressure tanks stack. If I put a second pressure tank at the end of this conveyor line, is that gonna increase the power of this conveyor? And that way I can just at least shoot, shoot it up into here because it tends to be bunching up here and I don't like that. But uh, if you do know, please let me know. I'd like to figure that one out because I don't know if we're losing any here. Seems to be okay, but yeah, we're getting a lot of gold. Anyway, I shall be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, right into some 
issues as you can see by the dirt everywhere uh, I'm starting to have I don't, I'm gonna say pressure problems I think I really do need to split this up over at least three pressure tanks maybe have three sets on one and then three sets on one three sets on one and then two on another or three or two on one so I have four pressure tanks but that just means four pressure shards shard bars whatever we want to use uh, but needless to say I was having trouble with the dirt actually not moving up and I'm starting to get uh, I'm guessing it was just too many entities I was getting a, a backup on the conveyor then everything just stopped moving and so the dirt started piling up here I had oh geez I probably had about two or three hundred little nuggets here and I had to use a uh, the uh, magnet on a stick to move it, but we do have a fair amount of gold. Uh, let me just get all this stuff in there. In fact, because I, I nailed this down for a reason. Uh, let me get all this stuff in there, and then we'll go smelt it up. And here I was trying to do it the hard way. And I just realized, oh, I got this thing. All I do is just use that, and I'll just pull them in for me. There. All right, uh, let's see what kind of leg we're dealing with here. Yeah, not terrible. This is only like 20 minutes or so. So we'll melt that down. And we'll get the. Let's see what we got for the iron as well. I gotta buy more of those things too. At least we got money. That is good. And yeah, I bought some foundations here just because. Right? No point walking on the floor. Oh yeah, we're gonna get ourselves a nice big gem here. Uh, I might get a one more. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Conveyor, uh, sorter, yes, that's what I'm looking, that's the word I'm thinking about. Because every once in a while I get a little bit of dirt clump going through, and this is what happens. I'll take an emerald, just because it's here. Yeah, okay, we do that. Oh, judging by the leg, that wasn't melted. I was assuming it was. So I think what I might have to do, is it seems to be always this one that was backing up the most, and I didn't really have issues with the one over there. But again, those are for the furthest from the tank, so I might have to do three. I think that'll get me better pressure. Uh, before I didn't even realize when I don't like this is the second time I set up this first time I set it up with the two tanks, I had five on one and only three on the other, so that didn't work out. Um, and yeah, and then again about the multiple tanks if they actually increase the pressure or. Is that going to be one of those things where I might have to... Oh god, shorten my conveyor? We can't have that now, can we? Uh, I think it's got something to do with this too. Anyway, uh, is this melted? Uh, yes it is. Let's see what we got. Physics are crazy around here. Yeah, it wasn't five, bad. Five grand for 20 minutes. So that is a little bit of money. It's not most in the world I was having problems, but at least we can buy things, yes. I do actually have a whole bunch of stuff with the other, other site there. Uh, blacksmith hammer, that's what I'm looking for. Grab my emerald. Okay, well, I was going to end the episode, but uh, you know me, I was going to let this go to rest. So uh, I decided I was going to do a little bit of work, and I actually split everything up into a paired, uh, paired the, we'll call it mining units on two to a pressure chamber, so I got four pressure chambers here for the eight miners. Uh, as far as them stacking, yes they do. I put two of them on here, and we actually had quite the the lob off the end, I won't say launch, because you know, it doesn't really launch that far, but I thought we'd give it another go, I gotta definitely get a platform in here, or some sort of walkway or something, but or put these in a better place, that would help. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, get the main one on, the, the noisy one. Yes, I know it's loud. I might actually turn the game balance down if I can. But as you can see, we're motoring along. And if I go up here, we'll take this nugget, we'll drop it all the way over here, and we can watch it go up. And then when it gets here, this is what I wanted. I wanted to actually sort of fling off and land more in the center. So that way it has a bunch up there. So, that's working. Uh, I do have these conveyors, they are actually definitely running a lot better. I cleared all this stuff out, I'll probably take care of this in my own time. So, let's get uh, those on. Uh, I got really should organize this stuff a little better. And then, let's turn them on. 
I think I'm gonna put these in a more accessible place this time. At least I got a pipeway to walk on. Now let's just hope we don't have any jam ups, and then I'll probably do what I was gonna do, run this for an hour, and hopefully with the proper pressure and uh, no blockages, we should be good. That's a little better. That's what I wanted. And nothing's getting stuck, but that's that's now. If I start getting entities stuck on the conveyors and start getting lag, and even though this dude's gonna start doing something, maybe it's gonna affect the physics, and the physics won't be able to work as good. Good, but sounds good to me. I'll be back. Okay, this is it. This has been about an hour. Uh, needless to say, by the the lag and the uh, numerous clumps of dirt on the ground, especially on this side. Uh, we have been doing pretty good, actually. Uh, I've been keeping these going pretty good. There hasn't been too many repairs. They all decided to go at once in the beginning. And, one. and then they were doing okay, but then I started getting this happening. And I think what's going on is just so many entities all around that uh, the game's having trouble updating the, the dirt clumps going up to go over the conveyor, and I think that's got something to do with it. What was that noise? I don't know. Uh, dirt clump, but anyways, uh, yeah, we are full. I won't say full, but there's a lot there, so let's do a lag test, shall we? That's actually pretty good for an hour. I had... I, didn't, I think this is about the same amount of lag I had with 6,000. Or six hours. Oh, okay. This is gonna take a little bit. So let me save you the headache, and I'll be back. Let me look at that. I can finally get that pot down. The frame rate goes back to normal. Wow. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. As soon as you get it on there on the, on the fire, and it starts cooking, the the lag disappears. That's how you know it's a lot of gold. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, start by weighing this bar. See what we got. Eh, that could have been better, actually. But it's still not bad for an hour. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a ring. And we'll make ourselves a, a dagger while we're at it. Let's actually change that to a ring. Like so. Grab that and... Give me that ring. I hate how it highlights, but unless the, the circle is right over top of the object, it doesn't pick it up. So that's not bad, actually. 21,000. 22,000 for that. Go ahead and change that to a dagger. We'll go ahead and heat this up quickly. I think it only takes like a second, really. Do that. Do that. That's not hot enough. One, two, three. Three second roll, right? I don't think that works with blacksmithing, especially when you goof up like that. That worked. Get out of there. Now what do we get for this bad boy? What was that, 1500? 5 grand, wow. 4500. And yeah, I got the other dagger there too. So there we go, we pulled, uh, what, 30 grand out of here already so far? Uh, with this new setup, uh, definitely the lag is going to be an issue. Uh, what I'm going to do between now and the next episode is I'm actually going to get a couple of forges and put them down below and actually have the pots in there and see if the, the melting trick See if you can add nuggets to a molten mix and see if it adds up. And if it, that does work, that's definitely going to help with the lag. And then we'll go from there. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.